What's up you guys? Welcome back. Hi, I haven't seen you in a fat minute, but I'm gonna get into that anyway I just wanted to give you a first semester update of nursing school I feel like this could be I want to get started by starting off with talking about the classes that I took my first semester of nursing school and what happens is we kind of split it into like first eight weeks and second eight weeks so we could call it like term like let's call it term a term b just to make it less confusing so for term a i took professional or intro to nursing profe intro to professional nursing concepts and that was basically our first fundamentals of eight weeks and we also had farm and patho now farm and patho were stretched throughout the whole semester but this first fundamentals was not so that is where we you know first dove into everything it wasn't our head to toe in case you guys are wondering i know a lot of nursing schools do that but our head to toe was a prerequisite that we took for our pre-nursing courses so it wasn't a part of the nursing program it's something we had to pass in order to get into the nursing program so we already learned how to do a head to toe and all that stuff so this was more of like going to lab we learned how to do im injections mix insulin give subcutaneous injections um, you know, insert and remove a catheter, wash a patient in bed. We learned how to do a bed change and all that kind of stuff. So that's what we learned. I thoroughly enjoyed lab. That was the best thing ever. We had lab checkoffs and I loved that class. That was amazing. So we had our lectures on Zoom and our lab was, I believe, did we go twice a week or maybe once a week? And it was like for two hours. So it wasn't often um, that was the only time we really went and we did go and take our exams in person. So then we had farm and patho and pharmacology, you know, is learning the medications, their adverse side effects, like everything you need to know about the medications basically. And that was crazy. And patho is learning the disease processes, like, you know, the risk factor, what populations are at higher risk, um, pathophysiology of it the clinical manifestations you may see and that was so overwhelming you guys patho was crazy so anyway we ended up taking our final for the first fundamentals in term a and i passed so i got to move into the second part of fundamentals into term b while continuing to take patho and farm now this one was very crazy. We did not end up going to clinicals. Our clinical sites were supposed to be in the nursing home, but of course they're not letting anyone in due to the year of 2020. So we had to do clinicals online, which meant we got up at 6 a.m. and was on Zoom. We were on Zoom at 6 a.m. and we did case studies, SBAR, head to toe, all over the with what we were given again it wasn't the same experience i felt like i was i'm not prepared it's really scary to do that online because like you're not getting the physical interaction with your patients so that was really scary um and we also had simulation once every other week and that was when we went into the school and we got to go into like a fake hospital room interact with the simulation dummies you know and work with them because we really didn't have patient experience but it was kind of part of our clinical hour but we only ended up going three times um, throughout the whole eight weeks so that was very nerve-wracking as well I just felt like it was I was very unprepared in the year of 2020 for nursing school it's just been very crazy but we met for a lecture on zoom Monday and Wednesday and clinical on zoom Tuesday and Thursday and then we had Friday off for fundamentals so then i was taking you know pharmacology and patho now these were online so we didn't meet on zoom they just offered us the slideshows and the lectures and they would have like a test review section that we could do before the test um so that was very difficult for me i really felt like i was kind of teaching myself patho and farm now i could have gone to you know ask them for questions of course but i really love to have a structure of where i get to go to class you know and learn from a professor and i really didn't get that which is really sad um so yeah and then on top of that i've been taking my bachelor's courses because i'm getting my adn and bachelor's at the same time through ku so i had um you know things due on thursday through sunday for those i was taking two classes through ku so i really had a heavy full plate going on with nursing school during this whole semester before now we're getting into finals week and the week before i want to just talk about this we had three exams before the week of finals and that was very stressful for me because we were still learning content and then testing over that and so i had my first i had an exam on wednesday 
an exam on Thursday and an exam on Friday. Wednesday was pharmacology, Thursday was a Kaplan exam um, for fundamentals, and then Friday was patho. This was so hard for me, you guys. I was so stressed out. I was like, I feel like I should be spending my time studying for finals right now. I was like, how are we having exams? Like right now, this is crazy, right? Like I'm spending all of this time studying for these exams when I really should be like studying for finals. Anyway, I end up doing those and then comes finals week. But then finals week, we had my final exam for pharmacology on Wednesday, final exam for fundamentals on Thursday, and patho final on Friday. So this week was really stressful for me. And when I get stressed, I can be a really bad procrastinator. I need to, I need to get over that. But I ended up taking my pharmacology exam. We took it online with this thing called Respondus. Respondus is an internet browser um, that you have to download and it tracks your eye movement, it tracks your head motion, it tracks the voices around you, like anything, it tracks everything. So, you know, you're really, you're recorded when you're taking this test. So I took that and I passed and got an 84 in the class and I was so happy with that score. I was so blessed. So then we moved on to the fundamentals exam that was on Wednesday and we went on ground for this test and I was very nervous because um, I had a really good score um, in the class, but I was really scared because this was a heavy point test, it's your final. So I went in, I took the test, I came out, and we need a 76% to pass all of our courses. So you need a 76 in like the homework, aspect and you need a 76 in your test exam average so let's say you got a 76 on your test exam average but you had a 75 in the class like course content you didn't pass so just keep that in mind so I come out of the test I have a good score I pass with the course average I come out and I see a 75.5 on my fundamentals I was like oh my god I started bawling my eyes out. I have that on film. Um, it was so awful. I texted my professor. I was like, what do I do? Like, is there anything like, is this Kaplan exam going to be added to our test average or what? So at this point, they didn't add the test average from the previous test we took. So once she said that that was being added, I knew I was fine and it was added and I passed fundamentals and I was very happy. So I really thought I didn't pass fundamentals and I was crying and it was so upsetting. I was felt scarred for life. <laughs> so then we go to patho and I'm thinking, you know, I got this. I can do this. Patho, we expected to take online, but uh, the day before she said that we were going to be taking it on campus, which we were not prepared for. The other professor that everyone had was taking it online at 8 a.m. and we were to take it on campus at 10 30. so it was kind of like unsettling i was like oh my gosh they get taken the comfort of their own home and i'm gonna be in class and which gives me even worse text anxiety what am i gonna do so i was already freaking myself out at this point and you know i was studying and i just felt so overwhelmed because in patho there's so much you have to know so anyway i go in i take my final exam and we don't get the results right away unlike my other classes she has to go in and grade it and i see that my final grade is a 75.8 yep i didn't pass by 0 0.2 on my exam average and i guess i also didn't pass on my class content average either by under a point so that was very upsetting to me um that's where I am right now. I have cried um, every day since then. I have emailed people, um, you know, and they've just said, you know, that it happens. So, you know, I mean, I'm not, I have cried. I have cried all week. I'm not the only one who didn't pass by under a point or a point <laughs> collectively. So that was very upsetting to me and I've never not passed a class before in my whole entire education career. Um, so I was really mad at myself. I'm still very mad at myself. I feel like I failed myself because it's no one else's fault but mine. Um, I feel like a failure. I'm disappointed. I've never been this disappointed in my life. Um, you guys, when I say I've literally cried every single day from my final till now, I have. Um, 
and there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do about it. So I feel awful. I literally feel awful that this happened and I let it, I did it to myself. Um, so what this means for the following semester, that means I would be taking patho for the whole semester because it's a whole semester course and that is it. I don't know what that means about my BSN courses. I don't know if they're going to allow me to still take those because they kind of correspond with my ADN. I don't know if they're going to just let me stop a semester and then continue. I honestly have no idea. I have to talk to them today. So that's really disappointing too if I'm not allowed to do that. Um, I don't know. Every And before you guys start saying, you know, well, my blah, blah, blah didn't let me do this and that, that every school is different. I just want to reiterate that. So everything is completely different and I really don't know. I don't feel like anyone else really does either unless you go to the exact same school and exact same BSN program as well. So I, I, during this time, I really appreciate like, you know, the feedback and stuff, but I just don't, I don't think I could handle that right now. Um, so I don't know what that means, but I would be just doing a whole semester doing that and then moving on to second semester in the fall, which is really upsetting because I'm seeing all my friends move on. I do have a few people who aren't moving on either, but that's okay because I know I'm not alone. Um, but it's just so upsetting because I know if I had got one question right, I would have been there. Um, yeah. So that's really upsetting. It's more upsetting because I was just so close. But all that means for me is that I'm really going to know a lot more about patho. I feel like it's really going to benefit me. Um, you know, really spend time focusing on that and do well. And I've always been like, now I'm a semester behind. I'm a semester behind. But, you know, I actually watched madison's nursing journey video um i love her she's so positive in all our videos and she did an update where she didn't pass a med surge class and i love how she said like she's on god's time and that's what i believe i believe that god has a plan for me and everything happens for a reason and that was meant to happen to me to either teach me something learn how i can do better you know just really crack down and be like this is so important that you can't goof around you can't procrastinate you can't have those old habits that you had so I believe I happened, this happened for a reason, and please just be nice in the comments. I don't want to see anything negative because I don't think I can handle it right now. But you guys, I am still in nursing school. I'm not out of the program. I'm still having, going to have a nursing video for you guys. I don't know if I'm going to get a CNA job or not. I don't know what I want to do with my extra time I'll have or if I just devote my whole time to studying, which honestly I feel like would be really good for me. Um in doing YouTube. So I feel like that's probably what's going to happen. Um, and you know, everything happens for a reason. Maybe I really needed this. This is the second time I filmed this video because I was just like so upset in the first one, but I'm really just learning to look at like the positive sides of it. It may not seem like a lot, but there's some to it. Anyway, um, everything happens for a reason. And it's just a learning experience. You know, there's people who don't start nursing school until they're older. There's people who don't, who take a gap year. So, you know, it's like, honestly, I shouldn't feel behind. It's okay. And I just have to see what happens. But I just want to say thank you so much for you guys always being so loving and supporting with my channel. I really, it really means the most to me. I just want you to know it's like, I may seem like I have it all figured out, but I don't. I don't get the perfect grades. I'm not a straight A student in nursing school. I wish I was, but I'm not. Um, and I feel like all we see is like these people who are like so smart and you know, they do great in nursing school, which is amazing for them. But sometimes I feel like I need like some people who are like me. Um, and you know, like the reality that it is hard, it's challenging, it's nothing like anything I've ever done before. And I think it's super important for us to just like, you know, really understand that at least, you know, it's a big reality check for me at least. So again, I still will be having nursing videos for you guys um, and probably some more different ones as well. But that's where I'm at. That's where I am right now. Um, remember to always be kind in the comments. I really wish for that. 
Um, that is my update. I'm sorry that I did not post a finals week vlog for Vlogmas. I just can't have that negativity negativity on my channel of like me being so high up and then just feeling so awful and like a failure and like I can't do anything and wanting to quit. Um, but I'm not quitting. I'm still doing it. You know, you just got to push through. So I hope you guys understand. I know a lot of you guys do and I really appreciate that. I love you all so much. Um, I feel like YouTube has really brought some positive stuff to my life. So I'm grateful for every single one of you. But I felt like I need to do an update on my first semester. Technically I'm still in it, sadly, but it's okay. I'll get through it. Um, and hopefully there'll be a better chance of me getting to do clinicals, you know, in the fall when hopefully everything is good. But yeah, I love you guys so much. And I want to say thank you to those who stayed to subscribe to me, who are subscribing now. If you haven't, please go support my channel. Give it a thumbs up. Um, you know, if you would like to comment something, just make sure that it's kind and it's not negative because I really don't need that right now. Like I said, I've cried every single day up to today. And I'm sure I'm going to shed a few tears again at night. But, you know, there's not much I can do at this point besides just retake that class. So, again, I love you all. Don't forget to follow my Instagram if you want to. It's always linked in the description. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.